Hey guys, thanks for joining Samuel and I back with some more Night in the Woods. We're gonna go to church. Are you a Jew? Maybe. She's not a very good Jew. I don't know how a Jew's supposed to be. Hey, Mom! Hi, Mom. Ha. Hi, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. <sighs> the Old West was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Okay. Cool. Wonder who the pastor is. Hello. Hello. Your candy's daughter, oh, right? Your mom's name's Candy. That's cute. Yep. Who are you? Kate. But most people call me Pastor K. You're new here, right? Sixteen months, something like that. Oh, new to me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods? For now, at least. You want me to go talk to some strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend. And he's a part of this community. Okie doke. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she has a neat way of, of keeping a notebook. You're going into the woods. Yeah. Go that way. This way? Yeah. Because I guess this is the way. What the fuck is that? No idea. <laughs> she made that thing look a lot more interesting. Um. It's. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course. Well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh. Uh. It's fine? Haha, <laughs> alright. Bruce? Yeah? How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place. Nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. And I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going on here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep. Likewise. Alright, troops, let's move out. Thanks again, Bruce. 
Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. Well, that's Bruce. What? That's kind of rude. Hello. I'm Tiffany Borowski. A uh, friend of Pastor Kate. Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. Yeah, them coming up here and, and like, looking at his stuff like that, kind of weird. I always wanted to climb the water tower. But then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to the brittle. Brittle from here. Okay. You don't want to go over there? I don't want to die. Go over there. I don't want to die. Go over there. All right. I'm gonna go tell Pastor Kate I did her a favor. That was strange. I was like, who, who the hell is that nosy? will be pretty happy that you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You not a churchgoer? Was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I liked Sunday school. They'd give you cookies and orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? Huh. I don't know. I'm realizing I've also been calling that, calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. The drink that is orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Seeing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come Sunday? Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh wow, preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey listen, you know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure, you can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. Bye. Well, she's not too bad. No, but why didn't you even talk to about Bruce? If she was like, I. I don't know. I'm gonna go find Greg. Greg. I keep on thinking about meninges every time I say Greg. <laughs> Maybe I should pop in and see what these are too. Hey, BB. Hey, Tiffany. How's it going? Got a lot of rock salt to move. 
came in early this year. And like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along, Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt-putt out in Hunwick. Tiffany, that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, got work. Aw, oh, jeez. What is even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing? So do you want to come along or not? Let's hang out. Um, so... Working for free? What's going on? No, I think I'm just hanging out watching her do her job. Couldn't you just like refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here in the by the driveway. Yeah. She's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill! Yep. Why are you have bugs flying around? I've never been on? back up here before. Tiffany Borowski, you have now been here. It's nice! Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't like get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. Yeah, apparently, bugs really for really murder. Lucky. It ain't murder if it's animals. Okay, what the? That's dark. Oh, Hold animals. that thought. I know. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace... We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by the hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him, right? I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed, alright. They couldn't- they just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it is. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We build by half- a half hour. That was weird. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic. An original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in a ravine. <laughs> so, furnace. Oh yes, right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, Tiffany. Alright, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you, that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. 
Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> this game is adorable. This game's a little creepy. Fishing line. Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Jeez, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. That's the furnace? That's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm gonna go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh jeez, okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Do the opposite of chill. Touch. Jeez, this is one old ass fan. It's made of metal and can chop your finger off. One, two, three. Oh, no, no. Fish, fish, fish. She's a cat, so she can't sit still. Bat. Ah, uh, my old nemesis. Professor Lucius von Nemo. Nomeo. Uh, it wouldn't let, it wouldn't give me a prompt. Uh, yeah. I want you to go to it. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? This food, these four things. Yeah, okay, I could see this being useful. Tiffany. <laughs> Alright, so I can't carry anything else. So I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. Oh god. Oh god, you're gonna kill her. Clanky's probably got loads of heat, but it can't get out. To get Clanky all hot and bothered. <laughs> We will teach Clanky to love. Oh my god! I bet I could. Hmm. Mm. No. no. Could use the racket as a handle. Yeah, that would work. Although, we're not always going to be here to pull it. fan could stay on, and then if this breaks, you only have to replace the fan. It should be good for the environment too, that's important. Just like the turbines on the mountain by Fort Lucene. God, I remember when everyone was so mad about that. It's gonna ruin the view, it's gonna kill the birds. You know what else is gonna ruin the view and the birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. Okay, where was I? Making a basement turbine out of a badminton racket. Don't get distracted, Tevinath. Right. right. So there's a lot of wind down here, but like... Okay, we stick Nomi in the ground. Sorry, Nomi. Put 
the fan on top of his flat table butt. Feel that pain, Nomi. I have one too. And tie this racket on like this. Hey, alright! I should, like, start a company. Sustainable garbage turbine. Okay, done. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Oh, friggin' crap. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm going to check the exit. You're not done. Damn it. Well, we're locked in. Ugh. I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. We could cut a hole in the floor. With what? Maybe she has an old saw down here. And we're gonna what? Build a heap of garbage to stand on? And saw a circle in the floor. Like a cartoon? Well, not with that attitude. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Get that bad! Maybe I could, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. Kill the bat, kill the bat, kill the bat. What the fuck? Samuel really wants that bat. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace. When it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Oh. 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 Oh no. Well, that's the one tool I do know how to use. Uh, tool for beating ass. <laughs> oh god. What is wrong with Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, you piece of crap, furnace! Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, geez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming. Thank God. Uh, thank me? More like. Hey, Mrs. Miranda, you lock us in! Well, that was fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. You alright? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. You not like lemonade? It's fantastic. Then what's up? Nothing, just... Tired. Worked all day. I'm a hyper. Good for you. Ugh. You were zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. Okay, so I guess I'm going home alone. And I'm bringing all my little bug friends with me. Oh. You can tell it's definitely going Yeah, 
Yeah, but why? I don't know. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Tiffany Baroski. I would say. So, no. Mrs. Miranda is an interesting person. She, like, mummified a dude. Okay, you're a more benign interesting. Woohoo. You know. I have to say, this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. See? I'm good to have her around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. <laughs> I can beat the shit out of anything. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Eh. Dr. Hank said way back I needed to repress it. Repress? Not, like, learn to deal with it? He specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. So do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, Tiffany. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. I probably would take a lot of heart. Yep. I wish you would explain it to us. <laughs> I get it, Tiffany. She really wrecked him. <laughs> okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live for your life. <laughs> Bye, this is me going. Hey, wait up! <laughs> You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that was cute! Hi, Dad. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined. I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks. And hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? Or like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks. The sweetest meats of all. Go to the thing in the place you can run. <sighs> Dad! Dad! Dad, move the friggin' boxes! Oh, you know, stuff. I'm tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Oh, your cocaine has point made. Look at that. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watching TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Okay. I am totally gonna skip through this show.
Okay, cool. So maybe like every night I should spend some time with dad. Yeah. Just like how I talk to mom in the mornings. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna check the interwebs and then I'm gonna end the episode. Hey, that was fun! Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Seems to come down... To come down... A lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Good night. Greg! Hey, punk. What do you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night, night. Okay, guys, I'm calling this an episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!